back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to give two cars a very quick wash at the same time just to get rid of that winter grime, give them a top up in protection to see them through the next couple of weeks. Let's get into it. So to start things off I'm going to crack straight on with the wheels, I'm going to try and do four wheels at the one time and I'm going to see how long it takes me to do this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just smash through the tyres and very quickly give the wheels a quick pre-rinse before applying some pre-wash and some foam to the wheels. The pre-wash that I'm using is actually Built Hamber Auto Foam, I'm using it diluted at 6% PIR in the IK sprayer and then I'm using the Auto Bright Direct Wheel Shampoo through the foamer. I'll then use my variety of different detailing brushes and cloths to get the wheels nice and clean give them a quick rinse off and then it's time to move on to pre-wash and for pre-wash I'm using that same 6% PIR solution that I made up of Built Hamber's Auto Foam I'm not using it through the snow foam lands today, the temperature outside is about 5 degrees so I'm not worried about it drying out so I thought I would try something different and use it through one of the IK sprayers. I am of course going to layer a snow foam over the top after I give it 3-4 to four minutes worth of dwell time just to help extend that dwell and hopefully get as much of this winter grime off. As it stands, the Volkswagen, this was last done around about the start of November so I think about the, the 4th or 5th of November and the Lexus was done around about the 17th, 16th or 17th of November. So the Lexus coming up to one month well, the Volkswagen is closer to a month and a half, around about six weeks worth of that winter grime on the Volkswagen. It's just worth mentioning the, the waxes that I used to protect these cars. I used the Squid Ink Tanzanite wax on the Lexus and the SGCB wax, the D1 I think it is, coating wax on the Volkswagen. We'll see how they are performing a little bit later on. Now with both cars having at least one month's worth of winter grime on them and this probably being one of the only opportunities this side of the new year to get them washed it was worth jumping out and giving them a quick wash. Not incredibly dirty but certainly dirty enough to warm a maintenance wash. So after giving the Lexus a solid 10 minutes worth of dwell time and that's on top of the 3-4 to four minutes worth of dwell time that I gave for the Built Hamber Auto Foam I'm starting to rinse it off and you can see it's really, really going to work and a little bit later on you'll see just how well this combination has actually worked I am insanely impressed by the amount of dirt that it took off And then due to the temperatures, once I'd finished up rinsing the Lexus, the snow foam is still all there on the Volkswagen with no signs of drying out. So I may as well get that rinsed off. Won't show too many clips of that because, well, there's no satisfying dirt removal. It's very difficult to see the dirt levels on a wet blue car. So let's just skip straight to the next part. One thing that I did notice whilst rinsing both the vehicles off was that the waxes that I've put on them are definitely both still performing. Some, one of them is performing much better than the other one in my opinion, but you can see the beading there on the Lexus and then just as I pan round you can see the beading on the Volkswagen as well. So let's give it a very quick blast with a pressure washer just to see how the water's moving off the panel. Bear in mind these haven't been contact washed yet and you can see that the water is moving off the panel absolutely flawlessly and then when it comes to the Volkswagen you would be forgiven for thinking that I'd only just put that wax on today 
that's how well it's performing at the moment. With that in mind, and based on how clean both of the cars were looking and feeling after the pre-wash, I was happy enough to use the same water to do both cars. Now I wasn't originally planning on it, but because the waxes are performing so well, I was happy to do it. All that I did was just employ a multiple wash mitt method, where I went as far down as I was happy to go, using one mitt on each of the cars, and then used a separate mitt to go around the bumpers and the war trim pieces to make sure that I wasn't kind of cross contaminating if you like. Now some people will probably try and rinse me in the comments for this but I really don't care. I was happy with the procedure. Before I went on to the lower parts of the bodywork, including the bumpers and the lower trim pieces, I just gave all the paintwork a quick rinse over. It was then a case of moving on to the bumpers of both of the cars, and for some reason the rear bumper area of the Lexus almost looked like the wax was completely dead, so that's definitely going to require a top up in protection. For the top up in protection, if you've watched my videos, you'll know that I use the Blitz Detailing Ceramic Detail Spray as a spray and rinse protection throughout the winter. It's a great product to top your protection up with, and if I'm being brutally honest, in the winter, it's always worth topping up your protection. Even if your protection is still performing well, it gives an additional little sacrificial layer, and you don't know when the next opportunity to wash your car is going to roll around. So I'm just giving this a quick top up. If it was the summer time, I would have just left it there, I would have dried the car off and left it there. But with it being winter, and like I mentioned, it could be another two months before I get a chance to go and wash the car again. I'm just making sure that it's as topped up and as protected as possible. As I finish up with the Lexus here, I'd just like to take the moment to say thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that.